guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a ton to discuss the Three Musketeers nerf. Is it too much? We have the draft chest opening from the season chest, as well as a magical chest opening that is going to rock your very world. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is awesome. So, Obviously, we have the draft chest opening. Um, I think I made some really wise choices in this chest opening that are going to be definitely monumental to my playstyle coming up. Um, either way, I got a lot of star points in this chest at least. That was awesome. So, obviously, got up to Masters 2, which was good. Not great, but good. With a new deck. So, that's what I like about that. Um, last time I got to Masters 2, I used a hog deck. This time I used this um, uh, Furnace Balloon deck, which was absolutely stunning in every way, shape, and form. So I was excited about that, able to use a new deck. Um, let me know what your trophy high was this season. I'm kind of curious. I want to compare where you guys are at versus where I'm at. We're going to start pushing on my son's account. You guys have asked for it enough. We're going to start pushing on his account and start getting him up, hopefully, to Legendary Arena. He'll be jacked up about that. But i got to figure out how to get his... I'll use Supercell ID. That's how I'll do it. I was just thinking out loud here. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Um, also, so a couple different things we're going to do this week just as a precursor. We have one challenge coming up that my wife came up with. And then we have the chest openings that we're going to be doing in the shop. Oh. That's weird. Are they gone already? <laughs> Hopefully not gone. But anyway, we have the chest openings. I thought they were in the shop. Maybe they're not. <laughs> the season chest, the lunar deals. I guess maybe we won't buy those. But we were going to buy those in a video. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's get to this hog challenge. Uh, Hopefully, I can give you guys some tips and tricks that will help you guys win your very own hoggy moat. <laughs> Hopefully. We're going to just take a bunch of splash. That's what we're... Oh, poison. Poison is the number one card in the game right now. Oh, I should have taken arrows. Now you can just arrow my minion horde. I don't care. We're going to rock his world anyway with poison. Poison's what's going to kill it for us. I just remember my first battle, like, things got so stacked up. It was absolutely insane. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go full zappies this lane. That's going to be my power move right now, okay? Full zappies. And then depending on what he puts down next, yeah, we're probably going to go goblins just to distract. That's a good move on his part. That's a really good move. We're going to poison all that. I think that's the right play. Poison, and then I should be able to... I don't even know if I need to snowball yet. So let's go here. Oh, I should have snowballed. That's okay. We're going to go here. Um, yes, I'm so glad I saved the snowball. Because then, that flippin' dude, whatever his name is, Royal Giant Man, is going to get a lot of damage on that tower. And then we should get in there with the hogs and just absolutely obliterate the rest of the tower. And then, looks like we're rampaging the King Tower, which I do love to see in the morning. So, looks like we're smoking that King Tower, actually. Stop those hogs, holy crap. So those hogs are going to get through and rock our world, apparently. Because that's what we want them to do. And we're going to go gangbusters this lane. Yes, he did go ahead and use his arrows. So that gives me free reign over here. To do oh, that was a good play on his part. Oh, crap. So now we're kind of in trouble here. We're kind of in big trouble. we got to take down... Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. we got to take his little... Uh... I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh crap. Oh crap. I think I should have not. Uh, I, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I thought I was doing good and then he just absolutely tornadoed me into like oblivion just now. Okay, good plays on his part. Excellent plays. Good job. Good job. Do you guys want me to show you the deck that I used? <sighs> Last season at the end, what I finally came up with, the good thing too, is the Musketeer actually got a, um, got like a, uh, what do you call that, a buff. So, this is the deck I use. Let's see if it does good this season. Okay, I'm back. Uh, challenge three. 
obviously we got knocked down a notch so this is the deck I used hoping for the best right here right now let's go furnace that adds up okay furnace and then we're gonna go what do we got here what do we got what do we got obviously guards that was a horrible move on his part he should have known I had guards what an idiot just kidding, Vertical. I feel bad that I just called you an idiot. Oh, that was a really bad play, though. <laughs> with the Mega Minion. <laughs> I'm just gonna smoke him with the balloon. Dude, that balloon is just gonna... What the flip? Why you gotta be like... Why you gotta play that way, Jim? Why you gotta play like that, huh? Alright, so this is, this is my new game plan. This is my new game plan against this guy. This guy. Alright? So I'm gonna go Valkyrie. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Changed my mind. Oh, yes. So we're gonna go Valkyrie. Furnace. As soon as that furnace dies. Furnace? Furnace? There we go. Another furnace other side. <laughs> yeah. He did not see that coming. Okay, so furnace other side. That was a that was a power move right there. That was a power move. That was like asserting my dominance over like whatever he thought he was gonna be able to do. So we're gonna go minor here, hoping for his mini packet to come. Oh crap. That is really crappy. So, I don't think I've ever won against Golem with this deck. I know which is sad because, you know, it's Golem. It's a pretty popular game mode. He's going to go ahead. He's going to go and he's going to, um, he's going to lightning this in like three seconds. Three, what? No lightning? That's so weird. I don't even know what happened just now. So, he didn't lightning, which is very strange. I actually think I want him to use his lightning, so I am going to go balloon. Um, he should lightning oh zap that kill that yes we killed it oh my gosh that was such a power zap oh my heck you guys I don't think I've ever played this well in my life I have not beaten golem with this deck ever wow okay so let's go furnace we just gotta get ready for his lightning his lightning is actually the bane of my existence so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go minor with a balloon I'm gonna just push really really hard into this uh huh. I'm just gonna make him use all his elixir if we can. So there. And it doesn't look like he's doing a good job of using his elixir. He's using it very like cautiously. So that's smart on his part. Except we do have this coming our way. So I can zap that. Is that the right move though? Yes. Yes. No. 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 Take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Yes. 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 So what does he have that he can beat us with right now? Nothing! Dude, that was a power play, you guys. Oh, wow, that was a power play. Let's get back to the hog challenge to see if we can win one of those. I can't believe I can't win one of those. Screw that. Let's just open up the magical chest and then let's look forward to tomorrow. Hopefully, we're going to have a better game tomorrow. That's crazy. Um, give me a legendary, please. Legend. Flipping Dairy. Oh, that makes me cry. Thank you.